Springs up into the mountains of Idlewild. Okay, so reached our first stop again on our road trip from the Palms to the Pines, uh, from Palm Desert to Idlewild on the 74, which is known as the Pines to Palms Scenic Byway because it starts in the pine trees of Idlewild and ends in the uh, palm trees of Palm Desert. So you can see we've come up from Palm Desert. This is the, uh, we just take Monterey and that becomes the 74 and uh, gives us about 50 miles of great mountain driving. Uh, unfortunately only two lanes so sometimes it's difficult but you can see we are here in the mountains and the cool thing I like is right now it's about 110 degrees outside on the desert side and as soon as we crest the kind of summit of uh, the ridge that we're going over it gets real cool and we get into the area by uh, Lake Emmett on the other side. So again Luxury Fred here on a Idlewild road trip in the Lexus GSF. So let's get going. So again, this has the uh, Lexus 5 liter V8 engine with about 467 horsepower. Lots of great uh, track and racing kind of modes to really let you take advantage of all that power. Okay, so hopefully we can get a little bit of driving in here uh, before we catch any traffic. Sport Plus mode, which uh, gives us the uh, most performance out of the uh, 5 liter V8 engine, and we're going to put the uh, torque vectoring differential in slalom mode. Again, the torque vectoring differential spins the rear tires at different speeds to actually help you around corners. engine note if you can hear it okay so we are only about 40 minutes outside of Palm Springs and already we passed over the pass into I think this is the San Jacinto Mountains uh, we're around the Lake Hemet area excuse me and hopefully as you can see already in a kind of mountainous I uh, got ranches on either side and things like that, kind of a foothills of the mountain kind of feel like you're in Colorado or something like that. And of course we already have the pine trees and uh, we continue to kind of go through this valley area uh, and then we start to climb into the mountains that takes us to, uh, the climb up into the mountains that takes us to Idlewild. Okay, again, only about an hour from the uh, desert of Palm Springs. We are here in the pine trees of Idlewild, up in the San Jacinto Mountains. So let's go explore and uh, have some lunch. As you can see, there's all kinds of uh, art galleries and uh, little bed and breakfasts and things like that. This is kind of the start of the town. We take the 74 to the 243, and that's the uh, road here that leads us through the trees into the town itself. So. Here we
nice little sandwich and pastry here at the Idlewild Bake Shop and Brew. If you haven't been to Idlewild, this is kind of the main corner where all the action is. So these couple of streets up here go kind of up into the mountains and about a half mile of shops and restaurants and stores. So a lot of this drive is kind of through this valley. Uh, this is after we leave the mountains where Idlewild is and before we come into the desert area past uh, Lake Emmett and uh, just kind of this beautiful straight track through the trees. So I got the Lexus in the Sport Plus mode and again with the uh, torque vectoring differential on the slalom mode which I think uh, gives me a little better feel through the curves and now we're starting to come up into the foothills to go over back into Palm Springs. Again, it's only an hour drive between Palm Springs and uh, Idlewild up here in the mountains. Oh, little rabbit running across the road. So again, I got the car in uh, automatic in the uh, Sport Plus mode. We do have the paddle shifters if I need to downshift or something like that, but the, I think it's an eight-speed transmission that does really well. Okay, so now we're on kind of the last part. This is the Santa Rosa Indian Reservation, and this is kind of a lush mountain area, and once we get on the other side of that mountain, then that's when we get into the Coachella Valley and the desert landscape. So I love how you go through these multiple ecosystems uh, just on this short one hour drive. Again, we're on the Santa Rosa Indian Reservation. Okay, so now you can get kind of a view that's looking to the left towards uh, Banning over there. Sorry, it just went behind the road here. And now we start to climb the mountains. We've left the Santa Rosa Indian Reservation and now we start to climb the mountains uh, and go over the mountains and on the other side we have the Coachella Valley and the desert. So entering Santa Rosa and San Jacinto Mountains National Monument is what that sign said. And as you can see we've got some uh, sweeping views across the desert. So then as you can see now we have crested that mountain and we are in the desert uh, coming down towards Palm Desert now. But you can see that we have cacti and just a real desert scrub mountain environment. It's also mountain goats or mountain sheep throughout here that sometimes you can see walking on the uh, rocks on the cliffs. So as you can see, now we're coming down the hill. Still can have fun. Hear that? Oh. About 6,000 feet, I think, is where Idlewild is. You'll be able to see some dramatic views as we come around the corner here. Again, looking down at uh, Coachella Valley and Indio on that side, actually, kind of past Palm Springs. So, my review of this car is that it's amazing. Really, really amazing. With all the bells and whistles, this is about 88 grand. So, you know, do your math in terms of what that competes with, with a BMW or a Mercedes. But you get Lexus's amazing five liter V8 engine with 467 horsepower. You get a great eight speed automatic transmission with multiple performance modes. I've got it in the Sport Plus setting right now, which is perfect. Something else very cool, you have a torque vectoring differential, which spins the rear wheels at different speeds to kind of push you around corners. There's a normal setting, there's a slalom setting, and there's a track setting. I got it on slalom now because I'm going through the uh, mountains here. 
and uh, inside you've got all the Lexus bells and whistles in terms of infotainment and you know blind spot monitoring and lane guidance and all that other stuff backup camera uh, great sound Mark Levinson sound system in this car and uh, you know so again you have a, a great luxury sedan there is an eco mode so that you can you know kind of reduce the power and increase the fuel economy with the v8 engine i've been averaging about 17 18 miles uh, a gallon with fairly aggressive <coughs> driving and uh excuse me i'm gonna multitask now and take a picture of the valley as we go down the hill uh so you know i i think it's a great car then of course you get lexus's uh rock solid build quality and reliability and things like that where you can drive this anywhere anytime and it's never going to give you any problem for 200,000 miles uh, what else um, again I love these uh, Lexus sports seats very sporty definitely hold you in during aggressive driving uh, but still reasonably comfortable I've driven back and forth from Palm Springs to Los Angeles twice and uh, had no problem even one of the times was in heavy traffic it took about four hours so I was in stop and go traffic and the seats are comfortable yet when we're doing aggressive driving like this you get good uh, lateral hold and, and things like that uh, great build quality inside this has uh, this model has uh, carbon fiber uh, accents which uh, really make it look nice. It's got a carbon fiber front air dam, a carbon fiber uh, kind of uh, spoiler on the back as well. But uh, just sensational and sensational on a road like this. Again, this is the 74, which is known as the Pines to Palms Scenic Byway. It connects Idlewild with Palm Desert and we went from the pine trees to the palm trees. Uh, and we're in the last part of our drive this extremely curvy part of the 74 which is going to dump us out on Monterey Avenue uh, right in Palm Desert and if you keep going down Monterey a couple of miles it eventually connects right to the 10 freeway so it's a great great road and great day trip if you're up here in Palm Springs because it's a totally different uh, environment than the desert here of course I showed you the regular driving and now I just want to show you just a taste of the power of this car which is quite amazing again 467 horsepower from the Lexus uh, V8 See, quite uh, a fun car to drive.